Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Gretchy. This video is going to show you how to put your reed on your clarinet and your saxophone mouthpiece and also how to make a sound on those mouthpieces. So in your case, you should all have a reed, which is in a little plastic bag that you can open. And when you open it, it should look like this, the reed in its little protective case. It's very important that you are so careful with these reeds. When you take them out, you're gonna notice that the top of it is a lot thinner than the bottom. So if you break this top part, you're not going to be able to get a good sound on your mouthpiece. So always very careful not to touch this top part with your fingers. So this is my clarinet reed. So I'm going to start with the clarinet mouthpiece first. The first thing you need to do is you need to wet your reed. So I'm just gonna put it in my mouth. You can put it in your mouth for about 30 seconds. I usually say like a tongue depressor. And just close. Close your mouth around it and kind of just hold it on your tongue for about 30 seconds on each side. I've already wet this reed earlier, so I'm not going to do it for 30 full seconds, but I'm just going to re-wet it a little bit. Okay. This is your clarinet mouthpiece. Comes with a cap. The cap is just to protect the mouthpiece. You should always put it on before you put everything away. But for now, I'm just going to put it off to the side. So you have your mouthpiece. This little silver part is called the ligature. It should come right over the top of the mouthpiece. So this is the part that's most important. Most people see this little hole and think, oh, okay, I stick the reed in there. But that's actually not what that's for. The reed is going to go flat against this part here. So most reeds have two sides, one side has writing. You wanna cover the side that has writing, so you don't wanna see that writing. So it just goes right against here. And what I do is I line it up <clears throat> so that the top is right in line with the black part of the mouthpiece. Now for saxophones, this is almost identical. So you can follow along with this too. My ligature, very carefully goes over the reed. The screws are going to be on the right side facing towards you on the same side as the reed. So I very, very carefully, if it moves, I line it up. So you can see it looks like that. You can see a teeny, teeny, tiny bit over the top on that side, but this is what it should look like in the back. You want the screws in this part to be pretty far down so it's on the thicker part of the reed. And all I'm going to do is turn the screws so they tighten a little bit. And in order to do that, you turn the screws away from your body. For clarinets, you're going to use this piece. This is called your barrel. And you're going to put your mouthpiece into this. Now, <clears throat> if it does this, you're on the wrong side of the barrel. Just turn it over and you just push those, those two together simply. They should go together quite easily, okay? And to produce the sound, this is for clarinets. Actually, I'll show you how to do your sound in a second. You are going to take your bottom lip and make a little cushion over your bottom teeth because you don't want to bite this reed by accident. You don't want to tuck your lip in like this all the way and you don't want to stick it out. You want to just make like a shelf so that your reed can fit right on that shelf. Your top two teeth are going to bite down on the mouthpiece, like so. So there's my shelf, I'm biting down, and then I'm just gonna close my mouth, and I'm just going to simply make sure my corners are tight and I'm going to blow. Don't hold your clarinet mouthpiece straight out. You almost want it to be like an extension of your nose. And that's the sound you should get when you blow into it. So I'm gonna show you one more time. I'm gonna just wet my reed again because I've been talking for a while. So I make my shelf, I rest my reed, I put my top teeth down, close my mouth around it. And blow with it straight down. Okay, so again, this is what it should look like when you're just making the sound. 
Now, <clears throat> for saxophone players, you also have a cap on your mouthpiece and you put everything together exactly the same. So I'm just gonna walk through it again. You put the part that has the words flat against the mouthpiece. Put your ligature over. Now let's say some <clears throat> you're putting it over and it's not going on. That's simply because it's upside down. So just flip it over. Make sure the screws are on your right side. Tighten it up. Again, you should see it's right up against the top. And saxophones, you're going to find this piece. This is called the neck of your saxophone. When you put the mouthpiece onto the neck, you put it about halfway to three quarters. You don't have to push it all the way down to the bottom of the cork here. So once my, my mouthpiece is on, you can see there's still a little bit of that cork showing. The top part, the black part, is in line with this key, and the reed is in line here with the curve. So saxophones, you're a little bit different. You still make the shelf, and you put your top teeth down, but you're gonna hold this straight in front of you. Clarinets held it down, saxophones hold it straight out. Same thing, here's my shelf, my top teeth. Let me show you that again. Shelf, top teeth. And you wanna fill your belly with as much air as you can and let it out super slowly. Now, if you're not getting the air on the first try, don't get frustrated, don't get discouraged. What happens is if you squeeze your mouth too hard, nothing comes out. So you wanna keep nice and relaxed around the mouthpiece. Shelf, teeth, close, but not too tight. So this is something that I want you to try before our first lesson next week. Now, I'm just gonna quickly show you, when you take the reed off, loosen the screws on the ligature, pull it straight up. Notice my thumb is still on the reed. Carefully take the reed off, and when you slide it back into the case, notice I still have a bit of that thick part coming out the bottom so it doesn't get stuck. Always put your reed back in this protector because again, if it breaks or it splits, you're not going to get a good sound. Now, if you need a new reed, just let me know, send me an email. I'll send you a link where you can purchase a box of 10 or a box of three, they even come box of 25, but you shouldn't need 25. And I'll show you exactly what you need. So try to practice this before our lesson this week and let me know if you have any questions. We're going to start the lesson reviewing how to put the reeds on and making the sounds together this coming week. I just wanted to give you a head start. So just let me know if you have any questions and have fun with it. See you soon.